2013 Sherco 3.0 ST trials bike. All my riding buddies decided to move away or do other things and I don't have anybody to ride the woods with anymore so I figured I'd get one of these to see if I was any good at it, give me something to do. It's in pretty good shape. I had it down to the frame, redid the rear suspension, cleaned everything up, just uh, re-greased, tightened everything. So it's ready to ride. I'm excited to try it out. Don't judge me too harshly. I've never been on one of these bikes before. I rode it around just really briefly when I got it home, just in the yard, but I have never ridden one at any length. No seat, obviously, is much different. So we'll see how it goes. Took me a while to figure out which way fuel on was, but eventually I found something online that showed me. I'm sure I would have fig figured it out eventually when I ran out of gas or whatever. 300 cc. I'm used to a 125 screaming motocross bike. It's got a much more difficult kick. I was told that this is sort of the gear shift is up and out of the way on these bikes because you don't necessarily have to shift a lot of gears for trials riding. Sort of select a gear and just use that for whatever obstacle you're facing. So I need to notch this down another level for me. Uh, I see. Emergency shutoff. It'll do it every time. Is. It's a lot more difficult than it needed to be. Everything I read said this bike is pretty much a competition ready bike. Uh, I doubt many people start out on a 300, but I wanted something nice and something I could grow into if I do end up um, having any skill in the sport. So I'm going to take it easy learn slowly, have respect for the bike and its capability, give it a little ride. Might have tightened things down a little too much. I bought it from told me that that was a possibility. Sometimes the clutch sticks and it'll lurch forward. It absolutely did. It's always something. Every bike has a cork. He did give me an extra clutch pack, so if there is a problem with the clutch sticking, at least I have it. Let's try this again. A lot of these professional guys start in third gear and they're really looking at a difficult obstacle. First gear would just be too violent. Even second gear is pretty violent takeoff. Can be if you can't control the clutch. This clutch is 10 times lighter than my motocross bike, so you're gonna have to get used to finessing it. See the front wheel is wobbling a little bit. That 
is not good. Always something. The exhaust is on the right side here under the easily touch your hand on that. feeling this bike is going to hurt me at some point but some glitchy thing some throttle fucking clutch thing is gonna put me down one day but this is gonna be great exercise though holy shit i'm not in great shape right now so i'm breathing heavy but do this for a half hour 45 minutes i wasn't i didn't even do anything but ride around this parking lot up on a couple of these hills. I'm having a hell of a time finding neutral. <laughs> 